What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day outside. If you guys haven't been out there, you better go get out and get you some. So, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna go riding. We're gonna give this bad boy a good old shakedown run. Bounty course coming up. So, uh, in honor of my boys over at WTF Off-Road, Michael Four, appreciate it. Thanks for sending me the shirt and the hat, brother. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this thing taken care of, get this thing prepped and ready. Bounty course is coming. And while the date may be getting pushed back, it's only going to mean one thing. That there's no excuse for anybody to say that their machine isn't ready or that they're not ready or that they haven't bought all the parts that they need to win or any of them other damn excuses. So one thing I'm gonna do with y'all today is I'm gonna show you guys how I mount my phone in these razors. Uh, I used to have one of these mounts in this razor before. I took it out to put it in my Turbo S, but I got another one. Uh, the company's name is Quadlock. Um, if you guys haven't seen them online, you can check them out at quadlockcase.com. And also, yeah, that's about it. Uh, this is a scooter mount. So this is actually made for a, a little mirror, if you will, but they send you a nice little back plate and then you got the front piece and this would basically just mount into your dash or wherever the heck you want to put it. And it's stupid secure. I'm actually using a variant of that same setup to hold the phone right now. Um, it comes with its own case that goes around your phone, so specific to what phone you have. Um, and then it also comes with its own little poncho as well. So that way you can take your phone outside and don't really have to run the risk of uh, having any sort of damage done to it, you know, by way of mud, debris, water, all that good stuff. So stay tuned real quick. I'm gonna get this stuff set up and I'm gonna have my daughter give me a hand with the old uh, videotaping, all right? So here we go. All right, so my little one here, she's gonna give me a hand. First things first, nice little drill. It comes with all the hardware you need and it even comes with a little Allen head to secure your bolts. So. Here's how I'm going to do it. Go ahead and jump in there, Mom. What we're going to be doing here is I've got a nice, nice little spot right here where I, if you notice, this is actually a Turbo S cage. And this is actually the front windshield for my stock XP1000 cage. So I had to make this little filler piece out of uh, Plexi. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to our advantage and we're going to cheat. Now, this uh, this mount is comprised of three pieces. This part is what secures to your phone. This little tab is the locking device. This is the back plate that goes to the back of that. And then this will go through your material. And then this will be on the back side. All right, so we made the decision. We're gonna go ahead and mount it through the plexi. We got just enough room to squeeze that up in there. And yeah, you ready to drill some holes? All right, so first things first, we're gonna find out where a good spot for our phone is. Take it, turn the phone up sideways. Okay, I think we're good. All right, mama. You see where those little screws are, right? Yep. I need you to drill a hole right on each one of those little screw holes. All right, there, go nice and slow. Come on, don't let it float, don't let it float. There you go, up here. Pick a spot. Go. Push a little bit. Keep your speed the same, just push a little harder. Alright, stop. Gotta clean that part off. All right, now let's see if uh, see if that's gonna be big enough for our bolt. Okay, I think you can see this. We got two holes here. Now the way we did this is we did one hole and then we put the, the little mount up in there. We threaded the bolt through and then all we did was just drilled through the second hole and use this as a pilot and then put our second hole in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the second bolt in and then we're gonna put our backing plate on. All right, so now we got our screws in here. 
and if I could find my backing plate, which is right here. So all we're gonna do is put this on the back side of whatever it is you're mounting this to. All right, so now that piece is mounted. Now what we're gonna be doing is um, uh, putting on the front piece. This is actually the locking mechanism that's going to lock to the case that comes with, uh, that comes for your phone. And so the way that you orientate this, um, you either want the, the flat pointed straight down to, you know, you don't want it like off at an angle because then your phone's gonna be crooked. <clears throat> so normally what I do is I mount the tab off to the right hand side, makes it a lot easier to uh, release. Take this hex head, and this is just going to thread right into this piece here. Make sure that you're lined up correctly, and thread it on. It's got little locking teeth in there that keep it from rotating. And that's just how it looks. So give me two seconds, I'm going to take the one off the phone, and I'm going to show you how it mounts up there. All right guys, so this is the quad lock case. And it basically, they make them for whatever phone. I got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. And uh, basically, this is what it looks like. It's very simple. I've had this case, the same design through the eight, the 10, the 11. I think I've had it as far back as the six. And I've never broke any of my phones. None of the cases have ever failed me. I've never broke a screen, anything like that. I just want to let you guys know, I paid for these. I didn't get these for free. Um, it's basically just got a little locking mechanism right here on the back. And that right there, you come up here and you put, you put the, uh, the case in position at a 45 degree angle and you depress. And when you depress, it pushes that little latch and then you rotate it. And that's literally all it is. And that, that is gonna be locked in there. It will not come out unless you physically break the mount off of the machine. Um, the odds of that happening are, you know, maybe if you're getting rough with it. But um, this is gonna do just fine for me. I know a lot of guys put their stuff on their mount, on their, uh, on their dash and they have like little clamp fingers and stuff like that. That's a thing of the past. This is gonna stay in place whether you roll over or not. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it's quickly releasable. Um, another thing is maybe you don't want to put it like this. You can actually rotate it to the 90 degrees, you know, and you can put it like that. And then when you want to take it off, just depress the latch and release it. So if you're a content creator like me and you know, you're driving along, you can use this for your maps, but then maybe you want to stop and get out and take some video. You just bust out, man, take it with you. It's really fast, really easy. This is a damn lifesaver for me. If you guys don't have a quad lock case, make sure you guys get one. So thank you very much to my lovely daughter for helping me. I just wanted to show you guys that this thing has never failed me. It's definitely the, the smallest mounting solution and I think it's the most efficient personally. So if it's something you guys like, I'll throw in a link and a, uh, a little picture of what, what the website looks like here at the end of this video. And yeah, hope you guys have an opportunity to get out this weekend. If not this weekend, try and get out next weekend. Get some fresh air. Get out of the house. All right, guys. Appreciate your support. Love you much. Appreciate you again, Michael Floor. Thanks for the shirt. Thanks for the hat. I'll watch you guys soon. Hey, guys. What's going on? How's it going? So now you get to see me from a PC. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get to this, this page. So anyways, here. Good old quad lock case dot com hit the old enter button this is your jam right here these guys got absolutely everything you can mount these things on anything they also have the uh wireless charging which is nice to have um you wouldn't want to use these for any sort of like active type of things because they don't have the locking mechanism um like these ones that have the blue tabs there's tons of different types of mounts. Um, you can mount them on your handlebars. Um, I'm sure you guys can come up with a whole bunch of different types of ideas and stuff. You can actually like bolt them to things. Um, this here is the mirror mount. This is actually the one that I use. Uh, you can put it on your belt. You can put it on your wristband. 
um, they actually have a tripod adapter to where you can mount your phone. I actually use a, a, a modified version of this for my, my handheld device that I use to, to hold my camera for all my videos that I film. Um, this one right here, you can see it's got the GoPro adapter that matches underneath. You can put the, the light or the GoPro camera underneath. Um, this is stuff that you can put on your, your dirt bike or your, your bicycle or anything like that. So, um, you could also use it on, on your, your quads. So if you guys got ATVs, um, and you know, this is definitely something to look into would work for you guys as well. So I hope you guys, uh, found this video informational and, uh, yeah, we will see you guys on the next one. All right. Take care.